The West Bengal National University of Juridical Sciences WBNUJS or NUJS is an autonomous law university offering courses at the undergraduate and postgraduate levels. It is in Salt Lake City of Kolkata, West Bengal, India. NUJS is considered one of the best amongst the elite national law schools in India built on the five-year law degree model proposed and implemented by the Bar Council of India. The university offers a five-year integrated BA, BSc. LLB Hans, degree program at the undergraduate level and a Master of Laws LLM program at the postgraduate level. Admission to the former program is through the Common Law Admission Test, a highly competitive, nationwide common entrance examination, held jointly by 14 of the 17 national law schools. NUJS also offers MPhil, PhD and Diploma in Business Laws and other programs. It also offers a number of online courses that attract students from 17 countries across the world so far. History NUJS was established in 1999 by the Bar Council of India, in conjunction with the Government of West Bengal. The founder vice-chancellor was Professor N.R. Madhava Menon, a former professor of law of Delhi University and founder director, National Law School of India University NLSIU, Bangalore, who is credited with revolutionizing the field of legal education in India, by starting the concept of national law schools, as opposed to the traditional law colleges prevalent before. The NUJS, Kolkata, along with the GNLU and NLSIU, Bengaluru, remain the only three national law schools which have the Honorable Chief Justice of India as the Chancellor. This setup provides an aura of exclusivity and rare stature to these national law schools in India. It may be noted that all other national law schools have the Chief Justice of the respective state high courts as their Chancellors. Other eminent personalities without whose help and active intervention the university could not have been founded, include Shish. Jodi Basu, a former chief minister of West Bengal who was a Middle Temple barrister, Shish. Somnath Chatterjee, a former speaker of the Lok Sabha, also a Middle Temple barrister and a leading member of the Calcutta Bar Library, and Justice Chitodish Mukherjee, a former Chief Justice of the Calcutta High Court and the Bombay High Court and the acting Governor of Maharashtra. Justice Mukherjee was the university's honorary treasurer and has been associated with the work of the university since its inception in 1999. The NUJS is an autonomous university. Initially, classes, which started in 2000, were held at Aranya Bhavan, where the Environment Ministry of the Government of West Bengal is located, and the first batches of students started living in government flats. On 28 October 2002, the university's present-day permanent campus was inaugurated by the then Chief Justice of India, B. N. Kirpal. In 2006, NUJS was allotted a 50-acre plot in Rajarhat, an upscale township, which is being developed by the West Bengal government. <laughs> Rankings NUJS was ranked third by India Today's India's Best Colleges 2017, Law. Second in India by Outlook India's Top 25 Law Colleges in 2017. And fourth in India by The Week's Top Law Colleges 2017. Despite these rankings, WBNUJS is known to be the second best law school in the country after NLSIU. Topic faculty The faculty salutes B. R. Ambedkar for his work as a best servant to this country has included a former governor of Mizoram and CBI director, Dr. A. P. Mukherjee, who taught criminal law, a former judge of the Supreme Court of India Justice Ruma Pal, who was the Ford Foundation Professor of Human Rights, Shamnad Bashir, who held the MHRDIPR chair and who is well known in the field of intellectual property, a Rhodes Scholar, a Commonwealth Scholar, five Fulbright awardees, two visiting professors, one visiting lecturer and two doctoral students, a Felix Scholar and three Chevening Scholars. Teachers in NUJS have attended foreign universities such as Columbia University, University of Oxford, Vanderbilt University, London School of Economics and Political Science (LSE), School of Oriental and African Studies (SOAS), University of Nottingham, University of Essex, and Emory University amongst others. 
Lecturers educated in India have been and or are alumni of institutions such as NLSIU, NALSAR University of Law, GNLU, Jawaharlal Nehru University, Presidency College, Calcutta, St. Stephen's College, Delhi and, in a recent trend, NUJS itself. The NUJS faculty has published in journals such as European Intellectual Property Review, International Journal of Biotechnology, Journal of World Investment and Trade, Yale Journal of Law and Technology among others. In addition to lectures by permanent faculty members, the university organizes lectures and interactive seminars attended by jurists, lawyers and academicians from India and abroad. NUJS has four major annual lectures, KC. Basu Endowment Lecture Law and Economics, Durga Das Basu Memorial Lecture Constitutional Law, Ford Foundation Lecture Human Rights and the Convocation Address. Visitors who have delivered other lectures include Lord Robin Ald, Sir Igor Judge, Justice Zakaria Yacoub from the Constitutional Court of South Africa, Justice V. R. Krishna Iyer, Justice M. N. Venkatachalya, Professor Upendranath Baxi, Ram Jeth Malani, Indira Jaising, Vandana Shiva, Bibek De Broy, Jayati Ghosh, Helmut Gerlich, David Nimmer and Manaranhan Mohandi. Professors from Kolkata's other institutions visit the campus and take classes. Professors from institutions such as the Indian Institute of Management Calcutta, the Indian Statistical Institute, the Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, Presidency College, Kolkata, St. Xavier's College, Calcutta and Jadaspur University often visit NUJS. <laughs> Schools and research centres Schools NUJS is organized into a number of schools of study, each independent in conception and operation, yet integrated through programs of teaching, research and extension activities School of Criminal Justice and Administration School of Economic and Business Laws School of Legal Practice and Development School of Private Laws and Comparative Jurisprudence School of Public Law and Governance School of Social Sciences School of Technology, Law and Development Research centers Center for Gender Research Law Center for Human Rights and Citizenship Studies Center for WTO Law Center for Financial and Regulatory Governance Studies CFRGS.news. Adu. Topic: Endowed Chairs. Ford Foundation Chair on Human Rights. Ministry of Human Resource Development Chair on Intellectual Property Rights. Sir Justice Asatosh Mukherjee Chair for Studies in Tradition, Law and Social Transformation in Bengal The schools and the centres undertake projects which are funded by the Government of India, the Department of Economic Affairs, the Union Ministry of Environment and Forests, the Ministry of Home Affairs, the United Nations Development Programme and the Ford Foundation, among others. Library. The university has a large law library. It also has a considerably large social science section. Journals such as the Harvard and Cambridge Law Reviews, the law reviews of the respective national law universities of India, such as the NLSIU, GNLU and NALSAR, the journals of the Indian Law Institute and the Bar Council of India and reputed social science journals such as the Social Scientist, Indian Economic and Social History Review, and the studies in history are also kept in the library. NUJS also holds institutional memberships with leading libraries in the cities such as the British Council Library and the American Information Resource Centre. Besides this, law students from other universities are encouraged to use the library for research and study. The NUJS library houses over 20,000 titles and, owing largely to a donation from the estate of the late Justice Durga Das Basu, contains many rare books of historical importance. The reading room has computers linked to major Indian and international online legal databases. The library is Wi-Fi enabled, so that students are able to access the Internet from their personal computers while researching. 
In addition to the main library, each school of the university has its library. Topic: <laughs> Degrees and courses. Topic: <laughs> BA, B, SC, LLB, Hans. The admission shall be based exclusively on the performance in the Common Law Admission Test However, to qualify for admission, the candidate must have passed the Higher Secondary School Examination 10 or an examination equivalent thereof, securing, in aggregate, not less than 50% in all the core subjects and English put together. The five-year undergraduate course is divided into 10 semesters and enrolls 125 students every year. The students represent almost all states of India and a few join from foreign countries. This program offers advanced legal education with an emphasis on critical thinking and self-enquiry on the one hand and acquisition of practical skills and knowledge on the other. LL.M program The LL.M degree course is a one-year postgraduate course, offering specializations in two streams I, International and Comparative Law e, Corporate and Commercial Law. This program is interested in attracting students who either wish to join academia or seek to acquire advanced research skills before joining the legal profession. The admission is based exclusively on the performance in the Common Law Admission Test CLAT. To qualify for admission, the candidate should have secured LL.B degree or its equivalent from a recognized university, having obtained not less than 55% marks in the aggregate. The LL.M program comprises a range of compulsory and optional courses and a dissertation to be completed within two semesters. In the first semester, the students are expected to complete four compulsory courses and one optional course. In the second semester, they have to complete three compulsory courses, one optional course and the LL.M dissertation. These courses are identified by the Postgraduate Council PGC in consultation with its faculty council. Students are allowed to make their suggestions regarding choices, preferences of any subject or subjects to the PGC which is given due consideration. The dissertation is to be completed by the end of second semester on an approved topic under a faculty, who is appointed by the PGC. The students are expected to make presentations on their dissertation one month in advance to their submission and also take up independent teaching assignments on certain subjects. <laughs> Master of Business Laws An online master's in business laws degree two years is now being offered by the university. There are multiple specializations also available. <laughs> Research programs NUJS offers three research programs, MPhil, PhD and LL.D. The MPhil degree program is designed for legal academics, i.e., students who wish to pursue sustained independent study and research and are planning careers in law teaching. The Postgraduate Council PGC constitutes an advisory committee of three members for each MPhil student. Each student will be under the supervision of a faculty advisor. The candidate will be eligible for receipt of the degree only if he, she completes the prescribed requirements of the course within a maximum period of three years. The Ph.D. and L.L.D. degrees are two of the most advanced law degrees. The candidates to these degrees are expected to produce a thesis that will constitute a substantial and valuable contribution to legal scholarship. Since the doctoral program is designed to train law teachers, having the opportunity to practice teaching skills is critical. The candidate is therefore given teaching assignments in addition to making presentations before the faculty community. Topic diploma and Postgraduate Diploma and UJS, in collaboration with IPLEADERS, offers a Diploma in Entrepreneurship Administration and Business Laws, which has students from ten different countries. This is university's most successful distance education program, and is available through an Android app apart from online learning management system. Students in the course include bureaucrats, CEOs, journalists, law firm partners and investment managers. 
On the 29th of April 2013, Vice Chancellor Professor Dr. P. Ishwara Bhatt issued a letter of intent for educational institutions to enter into a MO with NUJS for its Diploma in Entrepreneurship Administration and Business Laws course. This benefits the partner institution to a greater extent in terms of quality upliftment. It is seen, that by acquiring such practical skill sets at an early stage, students catapult their careers to a farther height. In November 2014, the university has announced an online executive certification program to train HR professionals, in-house legal counsels, NGO workers, women's rights activists and compliance professionals on sexual harassment prevention and workplace diversity management. The program is titled Executive Certification on Sexual Harassment Prevention and Workplace Diversity Management, and UJS used to offer a postgraduate diploma program in business law in partnership with Rainmaker, the firm which provides logistical support in conducting all India bar exam, which has been now discontinued. And UJS offers corporate training course on company law to Larson and Tubro, one of India's largest engineering and construction conglomerates. Postgraduate executive diploma in business management and law in partnership with IIM Shillong. Postgraduate diploma in nuclear law in collaboration with Department of Atomic Energy, Space Law, Human Rights Law, etc. Topic: <laughs> Certificate courses. NUJS is offering a cyber law certificate course since 2015 in online mode. Infrastructure Campuses and hostels The Salt Lake campus consists of an academic block and three residential blocks. The latter comprises two separate, seven-storied halls of residence for girls and boys and a double-storied faculty accommodation house cum guest house. The university's academic block, christened after B.R. Ambedkar, is a four-storied octagonal structure that opens inwardly to a lawn. The building houses classrooms, a library and reading room, two conference halls, offices and an auditorium. And UJS's main campus is located on a 5-acre 20,000 square meters plot in Salt Lake City, overseeing the Eastern Metropolitan Bypass. The National Institute of Fashion Technology and the College of Leather Technology border the campus. The Hyatt Regency and the ITC Sheraton Sonar Bangla, two of Kolkata's largest luxury hotels are situated close to the campus. The Salt Lake campus was designed by the architectural firm Ghosh, Bose and Associates, which also designed the Hyatt Regency. Like the Hyatt Regency, NUJS Central Building is an example of the modernist school of architecture, characterized by minimalist design and open spaces. The front facade has a large, standalone, neo-Doric style column that also acts as a support this has been nicknamed by students as the Pillar of Justice. And UJS's Rajarhat campus is yet to be built. No significant construction has been undertaken and the land lies vacant. Admission to the hostels is conducted simultaneously with admission to the university. Although most students reside in the hostels for the entire duration of their course, some local residents choose to live off campus in their homes. The hostels have a mess serving vegetarian and non-vegetarian meals. Every floor of the six-storied hostels has 26 single rooms and 12 double rooms. Hostel rooms are equipped with round-the-clock internet access. The hostels have their own rules of discipline, which are primarily administered by the wardens in association with students. Self-governance is encouraged for which powers are delegated to select student representatives. The hostel mess is managed by a mess committee managed by the residents themselves. There is a doctor available for consultation, who visits the hostel regularly. This apart, the university organizes medical help whenever needed through tie-ups with hospitals located in the Salt Lake area. The Corporation Bank, a public sector undertaking, has opened a branch inside the campus and offers banking facilities, including an ATM facility. Canteen. The university has a canteen which is run by Little Sisters, a catering service that also serves the Indian Railway Traffic Service. Topic: 
Sports facilities The Salt Lake campus has limited sports facilities and the university authorities have attempted to compensate for this by arranging a tie-up with the Sports Authority of India, whose sports complex is located a few meters away from the university. The campus has facilities for indoor sports, and has a gymnasium for use by the staff and students. The NUJS hosts a number of inter-college events. The Sports Committee of NUJS organizes one of the most popular inter-law college events in the country, known as Invicta. Law colleges from across the country participate in this three-day sports festival, held in January every year. The events forming part of the meet are football, cricket, lawn tennis, athletics, table tennis, basketball, volleyball, badminton, chess, carom, cycling and throwball. The events are held at venues around the campus, such as the Sports Authority of India Complex, Bengal Tennis Association Complex, Salt Lake Stadium Athletics, as well as the campus itself. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Student Juridical Association. The student body of the university is known as the Student Juridical Association (SJA). The SJA has an elected president and vice president, along with two administrative office bearers, the administrative secretary and the treasurer. The SJA has an executive council which is constituted by representatives from the various student committees of the SJA and an elected class representative from each of the five batches of students. The student committees of the SJA are committees for encouraging, organizing, and playing an administrative role in extracurricular activities within the student body. Such committees include the Moot Court Society, Cultural Committee, Literary and Debating Society, Sports Committee, etc. The university through SJA publishes its own student-run peer-reviewed law journals, the bi-annual Journal of Indian Law and Society. Another peer-reviewed journal launched by the university in 2011 is the Journal of Telecommunication and Broadcasting Law. The NUJS Law Review is the official publication of NUJS and is funded directly by the university. It is independent of the SJA and its publications. It has a dedicated team of six editors chosen from amongst the students of NUJS. Professor M.P. Singh is the founding editor-in-chief of NUJS Law Review, which is India's only quarterly law journal published by a national law school. Conceived by Professor Singh himself, the NUJS Law Review prides itself on its unique model of functioning with an in-house team of authors who are rigorously groomed to undertake editing and managerial responsibilities of NUJS Law Review. <laughs> Legal Aid Society The Legal Aid Society has undertaken the following categories of activities. Legal Aid Clinic and Counseling – The Legal Aid Clinic has been set up as a permanent body to provide free legal advice and resolution of disputes without long-drawn and expensive litigation. This is done by providing legal and para-legal assistance. The clinic is presided over by the faculty advisor, Shri N. Koner, a former judge. Assistance is also provided by other former judges in the faculty. The clinic has been functional since 9 November 2002 and has tendered advice to several cases. Human Rights and Public Education – For empowering people through legal education and instilling in them consciousness about their rights and duties. This is done through field visits in semi-urban and rural areas as well as publicized seminars and workshops within the university itself. Youth for Social Justice, a social awareness program that targets young people with the objective of ingraining in impressionable minds a sense of social justice. Law Enforcement Assistance, this subcommittee works with law enforcement authorities such as the police, government, pollution control board, for providing an interface to people to promote legal awareness and law enforcement. Paralegal Services and Training – The purpose of this activity is to build relationships with other agencies that work in the field such as NGOs, to facilitate exchange of information. The Society seeks to provide training and services in the form of documental consultancy and research to these agencies. Public Interest Advocacy Support Services – In the form of documentation, obtaining empirical data and other allied research are to be provided for public advocacy of popular concerns and public interest litigations. 
Loke Adelat and ADR assistance, as part of its goal to encourage alternate dispute resolution, the Legal Aid Society organizes Loke Adelats in association with the WB. Legal Aid Authority. Till date 1 Loke Adelat, specially for women was held in November 2003. <laughs> Mooting achievements Students have won numerous encomiums at national and international moot court competitions. In 2003, NUJS became the only Indian and second Asian college to win the Willem C. Viss International Commercial Arbitration Moot, held at Vienna. In 2005 and 2017, the University Moot team won the Willem C. Viss East International Commercial Arbitration Moot, which is held each year in Hong Kong. In 2013, NUJS won the Pan Asian Award at the VIS East competition. In the field of international trade law, NUJS has twice won the ELSA Moot Court competition conducted by the World Trade Organization WTO, first in 2010 and next in 2015. NUJS is the only Indian law school to have won this competition since its inception. In 2005, NUJS also emerged as winners at the Stetson International Environmental Law Moot Court Competition at Stetson University Law School in Gulfport, Florida, USA after winning the India Rounds organized by Sarana and Sarana Moots. The NUJS team has also performed well at the Philip C. Jessup International Law Moot at Washington, D.C. In 2004-05, the NUJS team won the Jessup North Zone National Rounds and participated at the International Rounds at Washington, D.C., where they proceeded to the Advanced Rounds, and in the year 2011, they came out as the quarter-finalists in this prestigious moot court competition. Besides the above, the moot team has been a semi-finalist at the Asia-Pacific Round of the Manfred Lacks International Space Law Moot at Sydney, Australia. In the last two editions of the Biennial Commonwealth Moot Court Competition, NUJS has won the national rounds on both occasions, thereby, earning a chance to represent India at the international rounds. They have been finalists and semi-finalists at the international rounds. In 2006, NUJS was selected as one of the teams to represent India at the ELSA WTO Moot Court at Geneva, Switzerland and were semi-finalists in the oral rounds of the same. The university scored a hat-trick at the NLS International Moot Court Competition on International Commercial Arbitration sponsored by Clifford Chance in May 2010, winning it every year since its inception in 2008. Over the years, the university team has also won accolades at the Bar Council of India Moot, Raj Anand Intellectual Property Moot, M.M. Singhvi, Bar Council of India Moot at NLU Jodhpur, KLA. Moot, and several other national moot court competitions. Topic placement A large number of graduates of NUJS have been recruited by premier law firms of India and abroad by way of a student-run campus recruitment process. Recruitment for the batch graduating in 2008 marked the advent of international law firms including Magic Circle firms who have picked up students for training contracts at Allen & Overy, LLP, Clifford Chance, LLP, Freshfields Bruckhaus Derringer, LLP, Linklaters, Herbert Smith, LLP among others. The domestic law firms which have recruited students from NUJS include Luthra and Luthra Law Offices, Kaitan & Co., Amershand Mangaldas, AZB & Partners, Trilegal, and many others. Many alumni are currently employed by leading global law firms across jurisdictions spanning the US, the UK and Singapore. Over the years, alumni have also acquired the necessary qualifications to enable them to practice as lawyers in these major jurisdictions. Among companies, ITC, McKinsey, Assisi Bank, Reliance Infocom, Tata Sons, Infosys, and many more have recruited from campus. SEBI, the capital markets regulator in India, has also recruited students from NUJS. Some graduates pursue careers in litigation by joining the chambers of senior advocates in the Supreme Court of India or high courts and trial courts. Many graduates enter the litigation space after gaining some work experience in the corporate sector, which adds to their skill set as lawyers. Law teaching. Some graduates have also embarked on a career in law teaching. NUJS graduates have been recruited by the School of Law, Singapore Management University, NLS and NUJS itself as assistant professors and lecturers, careers in policy analysis and governance, a new breed of graduate lawyers have begun to venture into the domain of policy think tanks and governance. 
In India, the alumni are strewn across major research and policy bodies that include the PRS Legislative in New Delhi, the Centre for Policy Research, New Delhi, the Hindu Policy Centre, Chennai and so forth. Students have also ventured into marrying media and journalism with their core expertise in the law. Alumni have studied specialized media and journalism courses in leading schools, such as the Asian College of Journalism in India and at leading colleges and universities abroad, such as the Columbia University, USA. Higher education and scholarships, some graduates prefer not to sit for the recruitment process. Instead, they decide to pursue higher education at some of the premier universities in the country and abroad. Graduates have received many prestigious scholarships at premier universities abroad, including the Felix Scholarship to Oxford University, the Vanderbilt Scholarship NYU, most recent being one offered to a student in 2014, Shell Centenary Scholarship Oxford, the J.N. Tata Endowment Scholarship, the Chevening Scholarship and the Rhodes Scholarship. NUJS students have won the Rhodes Scholarship in 2006 Shabani Ghosh, 2013 Amba KAK, and 2017 Gori Pillai. Other notable recent achievements include securing the Commonwealth Scholarship in 2012 for pursuing higher studies in the UK. Many students have also collected the INLAKS Scholarship on a regular basis over the years. Students of NUJS have walked the corridors of leading law schools across the globe. Most notable among them are the Harvard University and other Ivy League universities in the US, the Oxford and Cambridge universities in the UK and a host of reputed institutes, including the IIMs in India. Fellowships, students of NUJS have recently made their presence felt in the field of uber-prestigious fellowships such as the Google Policy Fellowship in 2012. The Google Policy Fellowship was the first to be won by any Indian law student. Other recipients of this fellowship have been students of the IIT and the IIM. Students have secured fellowships from a host of other reputed organizations such as the Cape Town-based international NGO, Natural Justice in 2013, the Young India Fellowship and the LAMP Fellowship offered by New Delhi-based PRS Legislative Research. Recent success in the UPSC exam, in 2012, six alumni two from the year's graduating batch in 2013 were selected for the prestigious Union Public Services Commission exam, receiving entry into the elite services, viz. the IAS 1, IRS 1, IFS 2, and the IPS 2. Most notably, three students ranked in the top 100 of the coveted list of successful candidates. In 2013, the students continued their winning streak with two selections. Many alumni and students have been taking an increasing interest in this field of late. 